Hi, it's Emma from The Launch Queen and I'm going to talk to you today about um, a military lesson that I was taught while I worked in the corporate world. So really early in my corporate career, I worked for a firm of lawyers and they were um, a very ship-shaped firm of lawyers. They had an office manager who was ex-army and he was very much into having a tight ship. But he once imparted with me some Um, sound information from the corporate world which was he said to me um, we were in the IT room and I was asking him a question about the computers or whatever it might have been and um, I asked him what he was doing and he said to me he said Emma if you will carry a clipboard you will always look busy and nobody will ever ask you what you're doing and from from an employee corporate perspective I thought that is genius that man is a genius carry a clipboard about everybody thinks you're busy and important then everything's fabulous nobody will ask you what you're doing you'll be able to go missing in action effectively because you've got your clipboard you look busy you look important you look like you're doing something but that lesson translates into a massive massive mistake um, when you're self-employed when it's your own business when you're looking at your coaching business as a whole because we don't want you going missing we don't want times where you're hiding we don't want times when you're um, unproductive you don't get paid anymore to look busy you know suddenly when you work when you work for yourself there isn't that um, security of your regular pay, your regular income. So when you're employed, regardless of how hard you work, you get paid the same. And, you know, it was often a bone of contention that lots of people worked harder than others, yet got the paid the same rate, yada, yada, yada. And I was always um, very conscientious when I was an employee. I always did over and above my hours of work. I always worked longer than I was paid for, and I always worked really, really hard. But there were people that didn't. And... Um, in some cases, they were on the same pay structure as me, so they got paid the same as me. So it didn't matter to them how busy they were and how much work they actually achieved throughout the day, they still got paid the same. But now, now that I work for myself, now that I am um, the, the queen of my own business, that completely changes because looking busy doesn't cut it. Looking busy doesn't bring an income. Looking busy doesn't achieve anything for you. So are there any times in your business when you are busy looking busy? When you are so busy looking busy when you're not actually doing anything constructive? Are there times like that? Because the business lesson that I got from that fantastic man that day about looking busy certainly does not translate into um, my, my work now, into my business because like I say I don't get paid for looking busy anymore in corporate land you might there might be an element of looking busy there might be an element of not having to show up there might be an element of being able to hide but that suddenly doesn't translate when you're self-employed because it's up to you in your coaching business it is up to you to get out there and it is up to you to do things every day that will help to provide you with an income And if you don't do those things, if you are not striving to move forward in your business, then you will stagnate. And stagnant water smells quite whiffy. Stagnant water ain't that nice. And I don't want you to stagnate. I want you to be able to flourish and grow within your business. So looking busy ain't going to cut it, okay? Looking busy ain't going to get you any income. I want you to make sure that the time that you're working on your business is a focused time, is time that you spend in your zone of genius, really enjoying what you're doing and really helping to nourish your crowd and nourish your audience and give them really valuable content, whether that be through programs, whether that be through your blogs and your newsletters and your articles and your podcasts. But to get into that happy place of creating and being creative. Because when you are a coach, you have to be creative. And probably, you know, most creative people have um, 
a happy place. They have that happy place where they can be very, very creative. They have that happy place where they'll get into the zone and they'll they'll be able to create stacks and stacks and stacks of content. And some days it won't come. Some days it just won't flow and that's fine too. And you've got to accept those days as well. And rather than um, having the clipboard effect on those days, give yourself some time and space to get back into the creative zone. Because if you are just carrying the clipboard and looking busy and not achieving anything, then chances are that you're not going to find that creative zone again. And the sooner you get back into that creative zone, the sooner that you're in a happy place and you're helping your crowd more and more and more with the great content that you're creating. So don't be a clipboard carrier. (laughs) Bye for now.